Okay, then as far as um, I know, we are on page 12. And we're going to learn a new letter. The letter is the shin. It has the sound of SH together. Shh, shh, shh. When I teach to a mixed class, I always say to the male attendees in the class, you'll excuse me, but she is always right. <laughs> she is always right. And I ask them to remember that. And that's how you can remember that the dot uh, on this, when the dot on this letter is on the right, it's the sh sound because she is always right. Love Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> I remember snake eyes. That has helped me so much. With yeah, that's sound. it. <laughs> so um, with that in mind, um, let's look at line number one. Uh, Joyce, please. She, 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 she. Excellent. Very nice. Um, um, Jan, please. Shame, 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 sham, sham. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, Irene, please, line three. Shell, shell. Okay, so hang on one second. That needs to be a long E. Shield. Shield. So is it shield the first one or is it shell? No, no, both of them are shield. One shield. single dot is an E. Shield, shield. And this one is shell, right? Well, better to say shale. The long shale. A. Shale. Shale. Shawl. 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 Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth, line four, please. Shawl, shawl, shawly, shawle, 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 shawla, shawla. Okay, just if you could go back to the beginning and do the second word because you didn't do it correctly and you moved on quickly, so I didn't stop you. Shawly. Right, much better. Okay, uh, back to Joyce, please, line five. Shame, sham, shall, shall, chalet, 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 chalet. Excellent, very nice, thank you. Um, Jan, please, line number six. Shaw, shaw, ma. Well, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's better just to go, mm, not ma, but just mm. Mm. Okay. Lam, lame. No, no, that's, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The, lame, the, lame, lame and lame. <laughs> yep, exactly. Lame, lame, shaw, lame, shaw, lame. Right, very nice. Thank you. Um. Let me see, that was Jen. Um, Irene, please, line seven. Shaw, 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 Leh. Okay, better for the long A, lay. Lay, oh, this is a snake. Lay, lay, mm, mm, shalem. Yeah, shalem, very nice. Um, let me see, line, line uh, eight, Elizabeth, please. Shalem, 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 uh -huh. I mean, shalom, sorry, right. shalom, um, shalem, shalem. Very nice, thank you very much. Uh, Joyce, please, line nine. Malek, shalem, ma -ke. no. Uh, it's better to go malche. Malche. Shalane. Shane. Shalane. 
Yes, very nice. Thank you. Jan, please line 10. Charlene, 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 Lay, Chem. Yep. Charlene, Lay, Chem. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Irene, please 11. La, Lay, Yep. Lay, Chem. Yep. Lay him. Uh, it'd be sh shame. Sham. Shalem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The next. Do that one again Shalem. because Shalem. Yep. It'd be la. Nope. Much better. Him. Right. Very nice. Okay. Um, so before we proceed, I want to. We haven't done line 12 yet. I know. I'm okay. stopping on purpose. Okay. <laughs> I know. Amazing, right? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to stop on purpose to teach you a vowel. So just a second. Now, um, all right, not on this page. Okay, that's fine. This is a vowel. It's one dot, it's two dots on top of one another. Mm. It is a silent vowel. Let me repeat, it is a silent vowel. It lets Hebrew create words with two consonantal sounds next to each other. Okay, so the fa my favorite example, I don't know why, I, don't, I, I pick on this country. Anyway, my, fav my example is in dia, right? So you have I, N, D, those are consonants, I, A. N and D next to each other, you go like in dia, right? And in order to create the ability to put two consonant sounds together like that in Hebrew, there's this silent vowel. In between the two or? No, in underneath, it would be underneath the letter. So okay. let's take a look at the very last word on line 12. And that oh. word has this, these two dots under the mem. So that the way we pronounce it is ham, stop, right? Ham, la, chim. Does everybody see that? Yes. So this vowel allows us to have that dead stop to like in dia. I mean, you don't make it so obvious, but that's what it does, okay? So now, um, Elizabeth, you're up for line 12, please. Shalem, le chem, mi melech, malche, hamachim. Right, excellent, excellent. Any questions? Um, I want to move on now to page number 13. And we're going to learn another vowel. Right. Now, you, if you look at the top of the page in the box, um, that vowel is pronounced as O. And sometimes it has a prop. You'll notice in the, uh, so I call, when it's like this, it's being propped up, if you will, but it's still an O. You remember it because the dot is over, oh, over. Okay. I like that. Okay. Now, sometimes it appears without the prop, if you will, and it's just the dot that's over the letter. Now, you know to look for it because with the exception of the last letter in a word, every Hebrew letter or consonant must have a vowel underneath it so that you can vocalize. 
And so if you look at the letter and you don't see a vowel underneath it, and you don't see this next to it, look for it on top. I would say that, um, I don't know, 96, 97% of the vowels will be underneath. The vast, vast, vast majority are underneath. And um, so maybe three or 4% will be like this next to it. And maybe 1% if or less is going to be that dot over. But the dot over gives you the clue, oh, over. OK? So with that in mind, let's take a look at lines one and two uh, on page um, uh, uh, 12. Notice 13. the, uh, you're right, it is 13. I don't know how to read. What can I say? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> If take a look at the word at the very top of the page where the arrow is pointing to it, you see that? Okay. And who wants and who wants to take a shot at reading that word? Okay, Jan, please. Shalom. Right, shalom. There you go. So that's shalom. Hello, goodbye, and peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh there was a song from, um, I think the musical was called Milk and Honey. And there's a song in it all about Shalom. You don't want to hear me sing it, but anyways, it, it was very, I thought very clever. Okay, line number one, let me see. Uh, Joyce, please, line number one. Mel. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's got to, oh, oh, show. Right. Um, hey, ho, ho, and mm -hmm. low. Right, excellent. Um, Jan, please, line two. Mo, ho, show, ho, low. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, line three, Irene, please. Loch, loch, lol. Loam, loam, lol, loch. Yep. Loch, lol. You said lol, right? Yep. Okay, good. Um, all right, I wasn't paying attention. That was Irene, I think, yes? Yep. Okay, good. Elizabeth, please, four. Loam, 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 loam. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Why don't you try line five, please, Elizabeth? Sha, shal, shalo, sha, loam, sha, loam, shalom. Right, very nice. Thank you. Um, Joyce, please. Shalom, 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 shalom. Very nice. So that was too easy. Why don't you do uh, line seven, please? Shalom. Melek. Shalom. Mm. Ma. Oh, it's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. 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 I need to teach you something. So stop. <laughs> All right. So I just a few minutes ago said that the two dots, one on top of the other, made it, a, it was silent and allowed you to put two consonant sounds together. There is an exception, of <laughs> course. And the exception is that when this two dots appear at the beginning of a word or the beginning of a syllable, forget beginning of a syllable for right now because it's hard to figure those things out, but certainly at the beginning of a word, it is like the I in it. And here's how I like to describe that. If I were to, so here's a lowercase I, right? 
And if I were to, I don't have, I'm using a marker so I can't erase, but if I were to find my purple marker here, if I were to slowly erase the bottom of this thing, I just took my purple marker to erase the bottom. It would look like I had one dot on top of the other to make it like the eye in it. Okay, let me do this, hold on. So once I, <laughs> once I erase all of that bottom stuff, but with I, which I did with my purple marker, I've got like the I in it, it's I, 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 like it. It, I. it. So with that in mind, Joyce, if you could read please line number seven, start from the beginning, please. Yeah. Shalom, Malek, Shalom, it, mit. so would it be mit? Yeah, mit, uh, yeah. Mit la -kheim. Excellent, you've got it, yep. Shalom, mit la That's e e me le me le me le me le okay. me le Okay, um, Jan, please line eight. Shalom, lit melech, ham lachim. Excellent. Lit melech, mal, 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 It's better to go mal, hey, because it's in the middle of there, it's a, the dead stop. Okay, mal, hey, ham, lachim. Excellent, you've got it. That's it. Irene, please line nine. No. Wait, 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 wait. What's that first one? Look, it's a O, right? No. no, it's a dot over? No, it's under. So it's Leah? Lee. Lee, E. Okay. Lee. Le. Le. Almost. Like Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not sure we learned this yet. So let's, I'm going to, I'll teach it to you. If you learned it already, it's a good review. Give me a minute. Um, I need to get a piece of paper. Hold on. Whoops. 7 million little notebooks hanging around. Okay. So We've learned that, whoops, where did it go? <laughs> Sorry, that this letter is the H huh at the end of a word. Now I want to tell you that the way I'm, I've drawn it, it is naked, okay? And you never see it like this because that's naked. You will most likely see it with two dots inside like this. All right. Now those two dots <laughs> are that silent vowel we just learned. So it becomes like a word like melech. If you see it, that's what it is. Now, every now and again, not that, I don't know how, how much, a, I can't describe the frequency, but so the best I can do is now and again. It'll appear like this, which makes it ha at the end. Mm. So with that in mind, in line 10, okay, so I think, um, no, it was line, uh, sorry, line nine. It was, line I, I nine. stopped Irene. Yeah. Uh, we're on line nine, Irene. I've got you down here, right. So the second word in line nine, and it is a real word, is le -ha. Yeah, see, I couldn't see that little A under the A. It's, it's kind of, anyway, le -ha. Yeah, okay, wait, excuse me. Did I show you the most important tool I own? Mm -hmm. Have I shown yeah. this to you yet? 
This is a magnifying glass, ladies. The most important tool I own. Yeah, because I Just can't. Just so that you know. Lecha. Okay. And then loch. Yep. And lo. And la. And lachem. And lachem. Right. Very nice. Thank you. Um, line 10, Elizabeth, please. Shalom. Lee. Shalom. Lach. Yep. Shalom. Lecha. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Lo. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Joyce, please. Shalom. Lachim. Okay, now Shalom. remember, wait a minute, let's stop for yeah, a second. I know remember it's those? a ka. Well, it's mm -hmm. a ka and the vowel is eh, like eh. eh. Um, so it's lachem. Right. Shalom. Lachem. Shalom. Lachem. Very nice. You've got it. Um, Jan, please, line 12. Shalom. Lechem. Shalom. Lechem. Shalom. Lechem. Very nice. Okay. Uh, any questions? <coughs> then let's go to the next page. Aha. Mm. Okay, so on the next page, we are going to learn a second silent letter. That letter in just a second. Um, so that letter looks like this. Wait one minute. Um, every time I stop and start, I put down the marker and it takes a trip. Oh, it's in my hand. That's why I took a trip because I didn't know it. All right. The I in which is a silent letter looks like this. Okay, it's silent. Now, I am now, I think I may have mentioned early on that every once in a while, I'll take you on a detour. When I take you on a detour, if you want to tune out, that's fine. I don't care, but uh, I'll let you know when I'm done with the detour. Now, the iron is, as I'm, I just mentioned, is silent. And you might say, well, why are there two silent letters? Well, the iron is really a guttural letter. It's a yeah. silent, but it's guttural. Now we don't have guttural letter. Let, we have one guttural letter in English and that's the G, the hard G. Not the G in George, but the G in uh, go. Okay, now, um, if you were to go to Israel, I'm going to show you something. I wrote it for somebody yesterday. I was te teaching similar. You don't know all the letters yet, but just let me point out. This is the name of a place. You haven't learned the middle letter yet, I don't think, which is a Zion, the Z. But the first letter is the silent one I just told you about. So the name of this place in Hebrew on, st on signs in the land of Israel, it's set, uh, people read it as Aza, Aza. Now, what do you think it is in English since I told you that the iron is really guttural? In English on all the signs where it says Aza, most signs in Israel are in- um, Oh, Gaza, it'd be Gaza there? Yeah, you got it. Most signs in Israel are in Hebrew, um, Arabic and English. To, so that the whole entire population of visitors and whatever can read it. So <laughs> if you see this on a sign, which is Aza, but it would be in English Gaza because G is the closest or the only guttural we have in the English language. There's one other place that um, it appears. Uh, well, I mean, it appears a lot of places, but where the translation, if you will, is the G and in Hebrew, it's someplace else. So there, um, 
uh, in uh, Genesis, there's the story of these, this wicked, these two wicked places known Sodom. as Sodom and Amorah. If you read the, <laughs> the text in Hebrew, it's Amorah because yeah. in English it is Gomorrah. Gomorrah. But in Hebrew, it's Amorah. Oh, okay. All right, so now I'm done with the detour. As I said, <laughs> uh, you, you don't need to know that for any particular purpose other than I think it's interesting. What can I say? Okay, so given that this is silent, we just pronounce the vowels. So uh, let me see. The last one to read, I believe, was Jan. So we're up to Irene, line one, please, on page uh, 14. So it's E. Yep. E, E, A, A, E, A, A, O, O. Very nice, yes. Um, Elizabeth, line two, please. Eo, Eo. Ale, ale, ale. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, L, 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 sorry. Yeah. L, um, O, O, all, all. Excellent. Yes. Um, line number three, please, Joyce. Ah, uh, ow, um, olam, me. Lech. Yep. Oh, lamb. Very nice. Yes. Um, Jan, please, line four. Al, alecha, ale, tem, ale, tem, ale, tem, ale, tem. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Uh, that was Jan. Um, Irene, please, line five. All lay him. Yes, nice. All lay Allah. No, wait a minute. The fourth one, do it again. I haven't done that one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Alechem, Alechem, Alechem. Right, very nice. Um, so Elizabeth, line number six, please. The name of this book. Oh, great. Shalom Alechem. Yep. Shalom Alechem. Shalom Alechem. Uh, shalom Alechem. Right, so. okay. So Shalom, which is probably hello. Alechem. It's right? is basically <laughs> you. Um, it also means, it could mean, peace be unto you. Shalom Aleichem. Peace be unto you, plural. And um, as you may or may not know, it's, it's, whether you know this or not is irrelevant, frankly. It is um, Arabic. It's very close to Hebrew. It's a Semitic language. And if you meet somebody who is an Arab speaking person and they want to greet you, they very frequent, frequently will say, Salam Aleichem. That sounds an awful lot to me like Shalom Aleichem. So the Shalom like hello onto you or peace onto you. So, um, Okay, that's a detour for line number six. Line number seven, let me see. Who just read six? I'm sorry. Oh, me. Oh, oh, that's what I thought. Okay, so uh, line number seven, Joyce, please. Aleichem, shalom. Aleichem, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Very nice, thank you. Um, Jan, if you could unmute, please, line eight. She's muted. Uh, yeah, sorry, my dogs were barking. I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom Alechem Malhe Ham Lahim Alechem Shalom. Very nice, yes. Um, 
Irene, line number nine, please. Shalom, Mimelech, Malach, Malay. Go slowly. Malach, Malche. Yes, perfect. Ham, Lachem. No, Ham, Lachem. Right. Shalom. And next two words, please. Melech ha olam. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, we're getting this page. Basically, most of the words appear in the Friday night um, mm. liturgical piece, Shalom Aleichem. And it's also the name of this book because that's the focus. You know, we're getting there. Um, Elizabeth, line 10, please. Shalom, Melech. Ha, ha, shalom. Shalom. Am. Ha, sh, ha, shalom. Right. And please do line 11 as well. Shalom. Le, le melech. Ha, lachim. Le melech. Ha, shalom. Very nice. Okay. Um, on the next page, and I guess we hadn't learned this yet. I thought maybe we had, but what can I, I don't remember anything anymore. All right. Uh, the Aleph, which is a silent letter as well. And it looks like what it's in the big box on the top of the page <laughs> of page 15. So Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Beth is the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph Beth sounds an awful lot to me like Alpha, uh, Aleph Beth, Alpha Beta, which is Greek, right? Alphabet. Oh. Okay, those three, I just took three languages, took Aleph Beth Hebrew, Alpha Beta Greek, Alphabet English. There you go, the first two letters. And that's how you get the word alphabet, I believe. Anyway. Okay, so the Aleph is totally silent. And um, I think we're up to Joyce, please, line one. E, E, A, A, E, O, O, A, A. Very nice, thank you. Um, Jan, please, line two. E, E, A, A, E, O, O. Ah, ah. Excellent, thank you. Uh, line three, Irene, please. Ah, 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 be, um, a. No, well, remember you do the sound of the uh, letter first. Ha ah, or hey. Hey, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, the sixth combination is hey, correct. Next, please. Ah, hey. Yep. Ah, hey, ah, hey. Excellent, thank you. Um, Elizabeth, line four, please. Mal, ach, mal, ach, mal, ach, mal, ach, mal, ach. Yes, very nice. Okay, thank you. Line five, uh, Joyce, please. Eh? No. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. The first one is what? That long straight line? Yeah, no, it's, I just got a blank real fast. Okay, uh, the, it looks like an orange stick the doctor would use to pull down your tongue. Ah, okay. You got ah, it. Okay. Okay. Mach. What? No. That, no. What's ah. the, Ma, what's the last letter? It's a it, so it's ma, like ma, yep, ma, okay, yep, ma, ma, okay, ma, okay, ma, okay, okay, yes, but I want to point out one thing you have to be very careful and stop before the silent letter. Because okay. you, you want to make sure you say mal 
ape and not malate. <coughs> because if you make it, if you put that a uh, sound too close to the uh, the lamed, you've got a different word. And if I were taking dictation, I would I would write it down incorrectly. I have to know that there's a silent letter there, so that's why it's mal sort of stop mal ake. Okay. Everybody see that? More or less. <laughs> okay. Uh, line number six, I believe, and it is Jan. Please. Mal ake. Mal ake. Mal. Excellent. Yes. Uh, line seven, Irene, please. Malach, hey, Malach, 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 Okay, remember, wait a minute. When those two dots are in the middle of the word uh, like that, it's a dead, dead stop. So it's Malach, hey. Malach, hey. Yeah. Um, la, him. Yeah, nice. Mal. Okay, remember, okay. stop. Mal. Mal. Ah. 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 Mal. Ah. Hey. Ah. Hey. Okay. You gotta stop, otherwise, if you don't stop, um. Uh, well, I don't have an example. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> um, line eight, Elizabeth, please. Melech, pam lachim. Nice. Mala he. Well, remember, you've got to go mal. Oh yeah. Ache. Mal mal ache. Hey. Melech, mal he, pam lachim. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Joyce, please. Ma ake. Nice. Meklak. Uh, whoops. Do, do it again. Me. Eh, me. Me. Melek. Yes, melech. Melech. Ha olam. Shalom. Lachem. Lachem. More like Lachem. an M. Yep. Shalom. Ale. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Haim. Ale. Haim. Nope. It's the F. Ale. Chem. Ale. Chem. Okay. Right. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jan, please. Shalom. Lachem. Mal. Ache. Mal, uh, you were right the first time. Mal, 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 Right, very nice. Thank you. Um, and just a reminder, folks, if you want to follow along, don't follow along out loud. I want to hear the person I called on. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Irene, please, line 11. Shalom Aleichem. Mal, Okay. Remember, you got to stop. Mal. Ache. Hey. Ha shalom. Mi melech. Ha. Ham. La. Him. Yes, very nice. And Elizabeth, please, line 12. Shalom. Alechem. Mal. Ache. Melech. Ma, la, he, he, ma, mal, he. Yeah. Ham, la, he. Yes, very nice. Okay, any questions? So you only uh, stop uh, after the silent letter if it's an olive, but not the two dots underneath the. Hang uh, on. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I got it. So let's take a look here. We have um, the problem with this. Uh, text, if you will, as I've said before, they never consulted with me before they wrote the text. I would have written it slightly differently um, because in line number 10, the third word, you know, so we have shalom lachem, and then the next word is mal 
Ache. Under that lama, it should be the two dots. That, and there's a name for that vowel. It's called the shva. The silent mm -hmm. vowel should be under that lama. So you know it's mal. Stop. Ache. And that's the way that should have been written out. I hope that answered your question. Maybe. I think so. <laughs> okay, good. Kind of, maybe, sort of. Kind of. Oh. <laughs> so um, we're going to learn another letter because we do have some time here. So um, now the letter we're going to learn right now is the Raish. It has the sound of an R, R. And notice it is rounded. Okay, so this is the Raish. Please notice that it is rounded at the top. And it has the sound of an R. Okay, so that's what this one's all about. Whoops, there we go. So with that in mind, let me see. The last person to read was Elizabeth. So we're up to Joyce, please, on page 16, line one. Row, row, re, 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 re. Very nice. Thank you. Um, who was that? That was Joyce. Okay, Jan, please, line two. Ray, 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 Rail, Rame, Raish. Very nice. Thank you. Line three, Irene, you could unmute yourself, please. So it would be. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we're on line three, right? Yeah. So it would be Ray, Ha, Ray. Right. Ray, Ma. Ray, Sha Ray, Sha Ray, Sha Ray, Sha Ray. Okay, very nice. Thank you. And Elizabeth, line four, please. Sha Ray, Sha Ray, Sha Ray. Wait, 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 whoa. The second one. Remember, you, you uh, can't. Look, oh, yeah. Um, wait, hold on a sec. I'm from Boston. And <laughs> The word P-A-R-K, everybody in my family, not me, because I've lived in New York too long, but everyone in my family says park. But in Hebrew and here in New York, it's park. You got to pronounce that R. So okay. let's go with the second word here on line four. Share. 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 Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Share. Right. Share. Yep. Share Rain. Good. Sharesh. Sharesh. Yes, very nice. Um, uh, Joyce, please, line five. Ha Share. Ha Share. Nice. Ha Share. Ha Share. Yep. Ha -ha -ray. Ha -ha -ray. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, line six, please, Jan. Ball a hay. Ha -sha -ray. Mal a hay. Ha -sha -ray. Mal a hay. Ha -sha -ray. Ha -sha -ray. Nope. Excuse me. Ha -sha -ray. Right, exactly. Um, okay, so all those were the same. So why don't you do line seven as well, please? Mal ache, ha shalom. Mal ache, ha shalom. Right, very nice. Um, Irene, if you could unmute and do line number eight, please. Shalom al la. Ah, two dots like a snake. Uh, Alehem Mel uh, Wait, 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 wait. That next word, that straight line, orange. Alehem. Okay, wait, wait, stop. Remember, 
You've got to, you have to absolutely come to a dead stop. Mal. Mal. And then, wait a minute. Don't, don't put the ah under the L sound. It's mal. Ah, mal. Hey. It's not mal and then ah, hey. Yes. Yes. Now that's perfect. You didn't say that before. Now okay. it's perfect. Ah, uh, Char, Ray. Yep. Nice. Mal, ah, hey. Excellent. You got it. By George, she's got it. Um, Elizabeth, line nine, please. Email us. Mal, hey. Ham, lachim. Very nice. Yes, you've got it. Okay. We are going to learn one more letter for today. The letter is the tough. And I'm going to write it down. So this is the letter. It's a tough. Notice the toe at the end, if you will. There's a toe at the end. So you remember it's a T sound. Sometimes it is with a dot in it, and sometimes there's no dot in it. And in both cases, it's the sound of a T. Okay, detour. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard the expression, many, I mean, all of you, I'm sure, whatever, that somebody will say to you, uh, and you know, you, some people sometimes will say to you um, on tomorrow morning or tonight, Shabbat Shalom, mm -hmm. okay? And sometimes people will say good Shabbos mm -hmm. with the S sound because way back when a distinction was made between these two letters. The top was pronounced as an S the bottom as a T. With the founding of the state of Israel and the adoption of the Sephardi pronunciation worldwide, both became a T sound. But so very frequently when I'm at synagogue and somebody who's even older than I am um, by a lot of years who learned Hebrew probably in the beginning of the 19th, uh, the 20th century, like in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, before this um, founding of the state, if they saw a word with this top letter in it, they would pronounce that top letter with the S. And then if it was in the, uh, the bottom, they would pronounce it as a T sound. And so um, if you, in fact, when I first learned Hebrew, which was in the middle 1950s, um, I think, yeah, middle to late 1950s, we learned it as the S and the T. And then at some point, and I forget, forget exactly when, but it was around 59, 60, something like that, they adopted the Sephardi pronunciation across the board everywhere. And so we had a sort of refocus our brains, if you will. So um, this, is, and that's why you see at the top of page number 17, it shows you a capital T and it says equals the letter with the dot in it and the letter without the dot in it, because that letter is always going to be pronounced like a T because there's a toe at the end. Thank you for that detour. I've often wondered about that because I do hear both and there's a lot of other words in Hebrew that I learned years ago in prayers that had the S and now it's the T. So I wondered about that, how that happened. So it's really all about the state of Israel when they made that one change. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, somebody made a decision. I don't know. <laughs> My understanding is though, among the Orthodox, they haven't necessarily adopted this. Okay, yes, you're right, that there were many, and um, I'm trying to think, it's a particular Orthodox sect that hasn't adopted that, that's correct. You know, there's Orthodox all over the spectrum, if you will, and so it's one segment, and you're right. Um, so you, you have to, I guess you have to go with the flow, so to speak. Okay. Oh. 
and what's interesting is sometimes somebody will be reading something and they'll come up with this letter and they'll say, they'll pronounce it with the S sound, no dot in the letter, mind you, they'll pronounce it with the S sound the first time they see it and then three lines down in the same um, text or whatever, they'll pronounce it with as a T. It's like they will say blah, 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 Shabbat, blah, 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 Shabbat. It's like, I don't care what you do, but how about being consistent? <laughs> okay, so let me see. I think Irene, you were the last one to read. So Elizabeth, line number one, uh, please, on page 17. T, 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 T. No. Oh. Um, oh, toe. Right. Toe. Toe. Right. Toe. Now, the last one is just toe. Okay. So, since it's 229 and I want everybody to have a chance to read, I'm going to stop here. We will pick up here next week. So, where's my yellow, my little yellow sticky pad? So, let's see. Go. Next week is March 3rd. So, 3 3. Um, so I have a request that you do page 18 and 19 for the recording. So we can go through the whole chapter, practice, and then get to those two review pages and be able to read it along with you, if you would, please. Okay, so now let me make a note to myself. I find that if I don't write something down, I don't remember. It was interesting. I was I went to the supermarket this morning and of course left my list here in the apartment. <laughs> but I remembered it exactly, part of partially because I had written it down. If exactly. I write something down and see it, I remember it. You know, the Google Calendar has, I didn't know it until about two years ago. They have tasks on that. I know Outlook always did. I use that in the work world, but the Google Calendar has tasks. And every time I need to do something, I just put it on there and then you can check it off. It can be on the phone as well as your, um, your computer and it's great. So all my tasks go on that. Okay, hang on, uh, wait a minute. Let me see, hopefully this isn't the wrong number. Uh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Bob, I'll call you right back, I'm teaching, goodbye. I gotta, I gotta call you back, goodbye. Don't bother, he says. If it's no so unimportant, why would you call me and interrupt me? <laughs> I hate when somebody does that in any event. Okay, so I'm going to record pages 18 and 19 more slowly. Thank you. Okay, so that I wrote really it down. Helps. That really helps. Okay, you, you got it. Thank so, you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. My pleasure. Have a good week. See you yeah. next week. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Thank you. Shalom. Good, job, shalom. Shalom. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job. Yep.